What's up, YouTube? Hope you all are having a great day. Now, if you are a regular watcher of this channel, you may be asking yourself, what the heck does a sauna have to do with golf? That's the wrong question. The correct question is, do you suffer from any of the following? Back pain, knee pain, tendonitis. If you do, you aren't alone. Many golfers suffer from those pains. And the reason is, is that the golf club swing, like when you swing a golf club, is a very explosive movement. Consider for a moment that the average golfer is taking a full swing an average of 54 times, at least 54 times, per round. And it's easy to see how inflammation can happen. Inflammation is when a physical factor triggers an immune response within our bodies. This can cause redness, soreness, or even swelling. Of course, there are many ways to combat this. Drugs, alcohol, or alcohol and drugs. However, if you were looking for a somewhat cleaner way to deal with aches and pains, then look no further than a sauna. There are, of course, several variants. My wife and I decided on a near-infrared sauna due to the benefits such as helping the body with joint and muscle pain, detoxification, and digestion. When looking at the prices nope. on the internet and examining the materials used, I knew that I could produce a similar product at a fraction of the cost. Now, I didn't do a whole cool time lapse of me building the sauna, but I can go ahead and walk you through some of the key features. Well, she's not much to look at, but she does work. The covering is just a large painter's tarp. I found this on Amazon. When it came, it had a very distinct smell. So I hung it outside for a day, and that didn't work. Then I washed it, and that pretty much took care of the odor. Let's go ahead and take a look at the frame. The frame for the sauna is built using 2x2x8 two by two by pine boards. These came from Menards. I cut them down into different lengths using a miter saw, but you could use a handsaw if you needed to. Or you could even get the store to cut them up for you. I joined the boards together using some brackets, deck screws, and doll rods. To insert the doll rods, I used a drill with a spade bit to make holes in the pine boards. The heating element of the sauna are three Rubilux infrared light bulbs. These are set in clamp lamps rated up to 300 watts. I fix these lamps to a doll rod on the back of the frame and I plug them into an 8 outlet surge protector rated up to 2500 joules. I also grabbed a pair of glasses designed to protect your eyes from UV light. Using the sauna is simple. Flip the switch on the surge protector and sit down with the lights pointed at your core. I recommend starting with 10 to 15 minute sessions and working your way up to 30 minutes. I'll go ahead and link the specs I use for mine as well as building material lists in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop a comment. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you out there.